I'm Jennifer Angel. Hi Pisces. This is your uh, video report for the week of September 21st. Wow, what a time this is. It's, there's a lot of excitement. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's also a lot of disruption around. So there's a lot happening. We're in the middle of two eclipses. eclipses. Um, Mars is on the move this week. Saturn just moved to, a, to the next sign last week. Mercury's retrograde. Pluto comes out of retrograde. Um, so there's, you know, there's a lot of activity. So let's go through it. So the lunar eclipse, it's a full moon lunar eclipse. It's a full eclipse, so it's pretty intense. It's also a super moon, so it's, it's more than intense. It's, uh, it's got an added punch to it. It's sitting in your area of money and possessions. So the moon is there and the sun is sitting in, a, in your eighth house, which is another monetary area. Um, but it's an area where people can step forward and give you support in some way with money. Um, so right now, with the, the anything that happens with moon energy can be sudden. And also we've got Uranus sitting in this area and anything to happen with the Uranus energy can come out of the blue, almost blind side you. Uh, so and there is a favorable aspect between Uranus and Venus. So Venus sits in your solar sixth house, very good for connections with work, very good for your uh, image and your health and beauty as well. But let's just focus on work for the moment because we've got this connection with the, with the eclipse and Uranus in your solar second house of money and then the um, sun sitting in the eighth house of people coming in to give you support and Venus connecting there of people to do of work. So putting this all together uh, and um, Mars is still in this area of support for, for the first part of the week as well it does move towards the end of the week so uh, looking at this as as whole um, it, it does feel to me as if there is some disruption uh, uh, this week and um, but what comes out of it is actually a better situation so I don't want you to be too reactive or make any assumptions uh, early on wait until uh, and the eclipse energy can be felt you know well after the time I mean some people will say you know even six months after but certainly out of these next couple of weeks are going to be pretty sort of intense uh, changes that fall into place and can really start to solidify you want to wait to see what happens all right now Mars of course is going to move into the next sign which is your solar seventh house so we're going to have Mars and Jupiter and also the Sun for the first part of the week uh, before Mars moves in in this area so this there's plenty happening on the love scene too so you don't want to be spending all your time at work however for the next two years Pisces with Saturn sitting in your solar 10th house now certainly your work and your career and business does take on a higher level of um, importance. So if you can really knuckle down and get serious about work and with Saturn quite often it can mean hard work and long hours but with Saturn it also is um, reality. It's also setting solid foundations for the future. So I would start to plan what you want to achieve in the next two year uh, period. Now for this week uh, Mars in your relationship area is going to be square Saturn so there could be some conflict going on there around your work and love okay so you're gonna to have to try to be all things to all people not always an easy job but uh, if anyone can handle it you can Pisces you can smooth that over um, now if you're dealing with friends and uh, money be a little bit careful of that there can be some negotiating or some difference of opinion. Pluto does come out of retrograde this week so it looks like it's going to you know go forward and end, end up but it's sort of almost a week where things are thrown up it's a little bit disruptive 
maybe a lot disruptive for some um, but it's got there's some disruption in the week but when things fall back into place then it does have the promise of being better than it was okay so you just like one day at a time it just moves through not taking any one event too seriously okay love and luck to you I hope that it's a progressive week and uh, and that you can see that there's uh, things are going to be better for you um, I'm Jennifer Angel see you next week